Hi friend, this is Fani and you are watching my channel Dev Spin. So today's topic is on Lakshmi Panda. So Lakshmi Panda was an eminent film fighter from Odisha. Friends, um, this uh, see, before going and also sharing any information I have on her, I just wanted to wanna say this that um, before independence, in the pre-independent um, India, there was there was not a combined or a single country. Now, this country was ruled by different kings, and theirs and this and their kingdom was come to known as princely states. So it was under the leadership of the Iron Man of India, Mr. Lala Lajpat Rai, and up to some extent, Mr. Mahatma Gandhi. Now, why I am saying Mahatma Gandhi? Because Mahatma Gandhi used to go to different states and preach the importance of the independence to, to their citizens. And uh, he used to tell his uh, teachings that, that of non-violence. So, these two people, uh, I think, should be given the credit, uh, credit of bringing the India together. Now, when Mahatma Gandhi and uh, this Lala Ratpatrai or some fit, eminent freedom fighters, uh, they used to go to different um, kingdoms or business days or used to preach the importance of India's independent and importance of bringing the country together to fight against the Britishers. This started the feeling of patriotism. This initiated the feeling of patriotism and feeling of patriotism aroused in different the people mind and they also started taking part actively uh, in the India's independence movement. Uh, like the Sol Satyagra or the non cooperation movement or there are too many. There are um, so though in the today's education system we are not getting a detailed information on the local freedom fighters of a state so hence I wanted to say some of the freedom fighters that Orissa have. In the upcoming videos you will all find some more past eminent freedom fighters from India and what they did to achieve India's independence or their role in India's independence. We all have come across the name of Lakshmi Panda in our day to in our daily life, we must have, have come across this name. Why? Because if you still kind of remember her, Lakshmi Panda was the youngest freedom fighter in the INS segment of Subhashindra Bose before dismantation. So, uh, Lakshmi Panda was born in the year 1930 to a Brahmin family. She was back then known as Lakshmi Rath and her parents in the, in Burma, Rangoon, Burma, and their parents was um, were busy uh, or was earning an income from the railways being laid in the Burma. Yes, back then India was a colony of the Britishers, and generally the Britishers used them. To do any laborious work in India and in other neighboring countries. So, the railway is a gift from British, as we all know, and their parents were a you know, part of the laborers. But when the Japanese occupied the Burma, then what their parents become unemployed, and at the same time, Mr. Subhashandra Bose was looking for some hard-working persons who can sacrifice their life for the sake of the country and thereby they can take a part in the India's independence movement. If you know Swasandra Bose has said, give me blood, I will give you freedom. So this was the time when the people started realizing the importance of the India's independence movement and why should India be an independent nation. But sooner their, her parents um, were tired and at a very young age of 14, Lakshmi Rath and her brother has to witness the death of her parents. 
let me become furious about this and at the age those years were well, at the tender age of 14 she was, uh, had strong determination of avenging her parents death and this strong determination in her forced her to join the INA. She joined under the Captain Lakmi Shagal uh, in the Rani Dhamsi segment at the age of 14. She became a uh, trained for person or a professional in swordmanship, in espionage and shooting. So uh, yes, back then they were giving training to the girls and boys who can take part in the Indian independent movement and she became trained in this. Though, although Lakmi was very fluent in the um, Burmese language, uh, hence she was um, frequently sent to Burma or to Rangoon to collect the information. So she was also a spy. And back then it was not easy being a spy because this is just a tool. Lakshmi was the youngest member I was, uh, of the INA segment and all, being the youngest member also, she uh, became the right hand of Subhash Chandra Bose. On 25th October 2008, she received the Shwetanta Sainik Samman Award. Now, this was his award, highest civilian award for the freedom fighters. And by giving this award, this award was con um, was presented to her by the then president of India, Mrs. Pratibha Singh Party. Now, on 7th of October 2008, in Delhi, she uh, left us um, in the Ames Hospital in Delhi. Now, you might have a doubt that why uh, I'm sometimes referring to her as Lakshmi rather than sometimes referring to her as Lakshmi Pani. So, her parents, she was born in a Brahmin family and she, her name, her parents' name was um, title has that but she was married to Mr. Khageshwar Panda and then she came to known as Lakshmi Panda. She was an active member of the Ajad Hind movement. Yes so we have come to the end of this episode please let me know that uh, whether you have liked this or not and if you do like this please leave a thumbs up button and you can share it also if you have not subscribed to my channel yet please hit the subscribe button and the notif and the bell icon that's very important so that you can come to know across um, any um, channel notification that are or any upcoming videos if you want to get in touch with me, you can always get in touch with me by the um, by my Facebook or Insta. I'm giving my description link in the description below. Still, then this is Midevashi Shrat signing off. Namaste.